Hi, I'm Guy Hutchinson. This is Pointless Nostalgia. It sounds like World War III in the basement because my son is jumping up and down upstairs. I don't know. If you hear it, that's what it is. It sounds like a trampoline, but it's just the ceiling. This is how basements are. Uh, today, we are looking at weird photos of Michael Jackson because I very specifically want to talk about this photo. Let's make room for it so that you can look at it in all its glory. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's Michael Jackson. Uh, this is what it sounds like when doves cry. There are two doves, one on each of his hands, and he's got a big pair of underpants. This is not an AI-generated image. I've seen this for many years. Uh, this is a real image. I don't know why it exists. Uh, we're looking at weird images of Michael Jackson. By the way, I do a video every day at 2 o'clock. If you're like, hey, uh, Michael Jackson with underpants... I need to see that every day at two o'clock. Well, we, we, it's not all Michael Jackson underpants photos, but I got I got a lot of stuff to show you. So uh, there you go. I just came back from a couple trips and uh, I just wanted to dive deep into the Michael Jackson underpants. I remember in the early days of like meme generators, I took this photo because I had remembered this photo from like the first day I went on the internet, like day one. I, I searched for Michael Jackson underpants and found this. And uh, I took this photo and I put on it like a quote and it said, I don't worry about what it sounds like when the doves cry. It's when the doves stop crying that I worry, Prince. And I put that up online and no one liked it. And you probably didn't think it was funny now. Anyway, real photo, no context. Uh, don't know why he did it. Don't know what was happening. Anyway, let's go to the next one. This one... I actually have some explanation for so you got you got MJ in the middle you got again these I some of these photos may be AI this one is not uh, I hope none of these are but here's MJ he's got two young ladies with him these are uh, little people and uh, I don't know if both of them were in Captain EO. One of them, at least, was in the movie Captain EO. I don't know what the white stuff is on the one lady's foot, uh, but this was at like a Captain EO after party. For those of you, if you don't know Captain EO, and by the way, I don't know which woman it is, but I assume she was inside of the Hooter costume. Uh, but I don't, I don't know for sure. But that's that's what I've been told about this particular photo. Uh, it's a staged photo. It was not like a, you know, photo taken at the party. It was like pose with this bottle and these two ladies, MJ, and he was like, sure. By the way, did you know that the high pitched Michael Jackson voice? This is something I've only learned recently. That wasn't his voice. Like he would put on a fake voice, which now that you, the moment I heard that, I was like, well, that makes perfect sense. Uh, if you watch stuff when he was younger, his voice was much deeper. Uh, like when he was in the Jackson 5, even when he was little, it was deeper than it became when he got older. And so that was like a gimmick. It was like him doing a persona. And so there were, there's some clips out there. There was like an award ceremony where he was accepting to get an award and he gets up there. He's like, well, hello, it's me, Michael Jab. <laughs> I mean, forget it. I, that was not my voice at all. Uh, but yeah, this was at the Captain EO party. Captain EO was this movie that he did for Disney. And boy, what a pedigree on this thing. It's produced by George Lucas, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, the director of The Godfather. It's got Michael Jackson and Hooter, and they're going on a mission in space. It's in 3D. It's playing at Disneyland every day. Uh, I always liked this one. It was a lot of fun. It, they, they took it away and then they brought it back, and they had replaced it with Honey, I Shrunk the Audience, which was awesome. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Great attraction. Maybe one day we'll talk all about that, because I got a million things to say about that. All right, let's go to the next one. MJ drinking once again. This is a, this is a theme all of a sudden. MJ and his drinking buddies. This is Bubbles, Bubbles the Chimp. Well, I must call the Bubba the Chimp. That would be great if Michael Jackson had like a hillbilly chimp that he hung around with. But no, uh, Bubbles, I don't know if Bubbles is still around. I saw an interview with Michael Jackson later in his life and they were like, hey, you still got bubble, Bubbles? And he was like, no, no, you can't keep a chimp that long because they get aggressive when they get older. But he had this chimp. And uh, we did a video a long time ago on the channel where I covered, there was, there, they almost made an animated series out of his pets. He had a, like a zoo at his house and, and they had Bubbles was like the top one. 
And so he had a bunch, but they almost made an animated series. They made a bunch of stuffed animals that you could buy, Michael Jackson's pets. And each one came with an audio tape, not of Michael Jackson singing, but like a little adventure that that pet went on. Good times. All right, there's Michael Jackson there, I guess having some coffee or something. Uh, here's Michael Jackson punching Mr. T. Uh, there are a couple shots from this photo session that I've seen. This looks like it's at, either in somebody's kitchen or at an award ceremony. Uh, but Mr. T is holding in, in the other shots, uh, you can see in the wider shot, he's holding his gold chains, which the gold chains that he would wear originally, Mr. T would put them on one at a time. And his story, which may be true, I, I never want to doubt anything Mr. T says, but his story is that as a bouncer, when he would throw somebody out, uh, if he if he caught on to one of their chains, he'd keep it and he'd, he'd put it around his neck like a trophy. Uh, and so Mr. T had all these chains and he put them on one at a time. Uh, and then one day when he was doing the A-team, they were like, wait, how long does it take you to put all your chains on in the morning? He was like, a long time. They're like, so if we do a shot where you don't have the chains on, it's like a long time. So they gave him one where it was like one big piece. So in the other shots of this, uh, you can see him like right there. You see him holding that. But I like the other one. Let's go back to the first one. I like this one better just because Mr. T's face is funnier. It's good. I own one of Mr. T's old gold chains and I have his business card from the 80s, the early 80s, maybe even the 70s. I'll have to show them on here one day. I got some really cool Mr. T stuff. I'll show it someday. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, so here is Michael Jackson. Uh, he is with, with Woody Allen. Then there, I don't know what's going on, but Woody Allen appears to be holding like a giant ticket, almost looks like a giant check, like he has won the lottery. They're staring at a guy who appears to have a, a tiny Christmas tree injected into his arm. And then the check that he's holding says uh, like, burden candidate for city council president. I don't know what that, I don't know who burden was, but there you go. That was a, uh, I don't know what's going on there. All right, here is the Jackson 5 meeting the Brady Bunch. This is, a lot of people say to me, though, like, hey, do you want to see Jerry Lewis win the crown, the clown cried or whatever that uh, Holocaust clown movie he did? No, I don't want to see that. What I want to see is this special. This was a Saturday morning uh, special, and they used to do these. They were like previews of what was going to be on Saturday morning. And this particular one with the Jackson 5 and the Brady Bunch uh, has never seen the light of day after it was shown on television. Uh, so I don't know anything more than the series of photos. Uh, but this photo is awesome. So that, that's what I want to see. I don't care about some hidden movie that Jerry Lewis didn't want us to see. I don't want to see it. I, I want to see this. This is what I want to see. All right, what else we got? Uh, we got Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson looking at his little Michael Jackson doll. That's, that's what you do if you have one. Speaking of Captain EO, which played at Epcot, this is him in the tunnel that was right next to where they played Captain EO. So this was uh, upstairs above the Figment attraction. They had this rainbow tunnel. Uh, now there's like a, a lounge up there. So if you're a DVC member, you can go up in that lounge and get a Coca-Cola and a bag of Cheez-Its. I hear that this tunnel is still there. It hasn't been lit up. I'm sure they, if it is, I'm sure they light it up every now and then, but I'm, I'm sure some of it's not perfect. You know, it probably needs some light bulb replacement, but bring back the tunnel, man. I love the tunnel. Uh, here's Michael Jackson just weirdly, weirdly leaning on uh, Madonna. And what's on Madonna's shirt here? Just like, what is that, Abe Lincoln? I don't know what the, who the silhouette is there, but I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, here is Michael Jackson visiting the set of the Goonies. Look at that. That's a real photo. He visited the set of the Goonies. Uh, here he is with Sloth, which I just love. It also gives you a scale, by the way, of that, of the prosthetics on that. Here is Michael Jackson visiting the cast of Home Alone. This is Home Alone 2. This is when they're counting the heads. And then, uh, you know, they get the wrong one in the first one. And the second one, Macaulay's already in the front seat. He's like, hey, you're not going to forget me this time. The audience is like, whoo, I thought it was going to be the same thing. That was going to be something totally different. And how did they forget him? They, they lost him at the airport. And we were just at that airport a couple days ago. I went there twice. I spent hours of my life in that airport. Good times. But there's Michael Jackson. He was visiting Macaulay on the set. This is my nightmare, by the way. I've had some travel nightmares lately. If I look in the cockpit and there's MJ, no, I ain't flying. That's not it. Um, this I like. I've seen this picture. There's two versions of this. So we're going to look at both. 
This is uh, the, the, the version with the sunglasses and Emmanuel Lewis eating the sandwich. He's just chomping away on it. And, and Michael Jackson had his sunglasses on. And then the photographer was like, whoa, 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 this photo is all wrong. Uh, Michael, take your sunglasses off. And Emmanuel Lewis, just hold your sandwich. And so then they, they we got the second version, which is much better. Much better. Very nice. Uh, this photo of Emmanuel Lewis going back to Epcot again, this reminds me of the little boy on the mural. I'm going to put the mural right here. The mural from uh, Maelstrom. And now I'm going to zoom in on the boy. I'm going to put the boy right here with Emmanuel Lewis here. You can see the little Norwegian Webster that was on that mural. I think like a lot's the same. The nose is the same. Face kind of the same. Also, if we zoom in, it appears as he's so distracted by the person painting the mural that he's about to cut his friend's thumb off, which it's Norway. It was a, a different land. All right. Well, that's all I got time for. Right now, there's going to be a box here and a box over here. And I'll see you back here tomorrow, 2 o'clock. Tomorrow's going to be fun. We got good things tomorrow. I'm excited. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking all about Facebook memes. So you got to come back for that. 2 o'clock. I'll see you tomorrow.